What's up everybody, the Valley of Blossom here. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to approach <laughs> Today I'm gonna be showing you how to improve your Jeep WK's approach angle. Now specifically in this video I'm gonna be teaching you how to remove this air dam that just probably popped up if you didn't notice already. And uh, that's how we are going to improve Rocky's approach angle today. This is for specifically the 2005 to 2007 Jeep WKs. For the 2008 and 2010, those are more of the rare WKs. Um, those WKs have a revised fascia, which is a little bit different than Rocky's. Um, but yeah, you might need to find another video or tutorial on how to do that. So this is for 2005 to 2007. Right, um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on how to remove this lower fascia. And before we get into the video, I just wanted to do a quick comparison of the approach angle right now. So as you can see, the air dam is responsible for basically making air more... It's supposed to make the vehicle more aerodynamic, and uh, that's because there's actually some uh, low-hanging fruit, I guess, on the WK, and airflow needs to flow around basically that air dam. Take that air dam off, you lose uh, one to two miles per gallon from what I've been told uh, in terms of fuel economy but as a result you do gain a much much better approach angle. Alright so I'm not sure if I mentioned this already but every WK is able to have this fascia removed. Every WK from 2005 to 2010 um, but this is specifically for 2005 to 2007 because uh, the whole face of the WK, the second gen WKs, I guess, from 2008 to 2010, have a different sort of facelift on it. And the fascia is actually connected to this here. But Rocky, she's different. She's like one of the first WKs that was ever made, 2005. All right, so what we're gonna do first is we are going to look underneath the air dam in order to remove this. Now, I'm just perfectly underneath the vehicle. And, uh, so you're going to see these tabs under here. They're connected to the color bumper. So this is silver, because Rocky's silver. This is the air dam. So you're going to find five, total of five retainer clips. So one, you just slide down. Two. Three. Four and five. Honestly, guys, this is super easy to do. Um... You don't need a mechanic to take this fascia off. So what you do is grab these, turn it a quarter, just wiggle them out. Not going to break anything. And drop it. Don't lose those if you plan to put the uh, air dam back or the fascia back. And this is the third one here. Wiggle it out. And don't force it out, just when you wiggle it enough, it'll eventually get out. Same concept. Turn, and that one just fell right out without me touching it or wiggling it. Next one, last one. Alright, so I'm gonna keep these retainer clips. and store these five retainer clips somewhere safe. All right, so that's the first step. The second step is to pull away at the fascia. Now, you don't want to rip it completely off or else it might hurt your WK. So what I like to do is I like to start on the edges and then... Uh, work my way to the front, or the middle. Alright guys, so as you can see I dropped the fascia. Notice how more crisp Rocky looks. It just looks a lot more off-road capable. That's definitely an improvement in the approach angle. I mean, just, just look at that. Look. That's really good. As you can see, Rocky looks absolutely gorgeous with the fascia removed and uh, just looks a lot more cleaner. I can show you the comparison of the new approach angle 
from a distance. So yeah, that's that's going to be way better in terms of getting on top of an obstacle and clearing it and basically being able to get through. Removing the fascia definitely helps, fascia, fascia, whatever it's called, definitely helps. Um, rumors are though that you do lose about one to two miles per gallon taking off the fascia. Now, in Rocky's case though, I've only lost about a 0.5 mile per gallon uh, fuel economy, and that's just because I drive Rocky really slow anyways, and so the miles per gallon loss isn't very significant. And that's why I usually keep Rocky's fascia off. Like literally, a couple days after I got her from the dealership, I took it off. Never really put it back, and so it's been about a year without the fascia. I think, I think she likes it. She likes it. Looks much better. Alright guys, remember to drop a like, leave a comment. That is how you remove the Jeep WK fascia for 2005 to 2007. Um, I'm not sure if there's a tutorial out there for 2008 to 2010, but I'm sure it's out there somewhere. Alright guys. Drop a like, leave a comment. Catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out.